What's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And uh, we just got the DBF 6500 set up, and I thought I'd give you a quick look. But before we get started, I just want to invite you, if you love the education, if you love the entertainment, you love what we're doing for this trade, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos, all right? So check this out. I'm like a little kid, man. This thing is awesome. First thing I'll say is like, you know, it's, it's decently big, right? You look at it, it's big. You look at the table, you can see the table's already a beast. But one thing I wanna mention is like, when you come around the side, you start looking at the, the footprint, you realize it is a beast. This is a gantry style five axis machine. It's 32,000 pounds. When we're dealing with five axis precision. We wanna make sure we dampen that vibration so we can have extreme accuracy. 32,000 pounds is no joke when it comes to a five axis machine, all right? We can walk around the machine. We'll go this way. We're still, still working on some different things. Huge chip conveyor right here. One of the cool things is like, it's got these dual augers right below the table and it flushes coolant constantly. So all the chips, they just come out come right through and drop in the barrel right here, nonstop. All right, so and this is where we have our tools. So we got 60 tools in a magazine right here. Then we can go ahead and close it. And now we can actually rotate the magazine to grab the tool needed back and forth. Boom, just like that. Uh, so one thing, you can already see it. Look at this beast five axis table. This thing is massive. I actually took this one, two, three block so you could actually see and take a look at just how big it is. Now notice this side to this side they're twins, right? A lot of five axis machines out there, you see them and they have a A axis drive on one side and kind of like a guide on the other side. So everything's being driven from one side. This machine has dual A axis drives that are completely in sync. That just gives it that crazy precision, gives it that crazy rigidity. Just the size of the table and the size of the machine dampens all the vibration and just gives you the perfect climate for precision machining. That spindle is also a beast and it's 18,000 RPMs. This thing rapids over 1,700 inches per minute and it gets after it. So we can take big parts up to a 33 inch diameter pop big parts on it, boom, boom, and just go to town. When you look at the connection, it's a big plus spindle connection. So then we're using the Kenametal CVKV tool holders. These are dual contact tool holders. They get pulled up into the spindle, and because of how small the margin is, the taper actually seals right on this surface right here. So you have dual contact. So even though this Hydroforce holder is a 40 taper, the dual contact actually gives it more rigidity so it can't move in the spindle. So we got 40 taper machines, we got 50 taper machines. And for this season, we're truly stepping into that precision making crazy parts for our aerospace academy and all industries. We're taking education to the highest level. I tell everybody, if you wanna compete as a country, you gotta be serious about education. We gotta bring in the right machines, the right platforms to teach our workers to compete in a global economy. And now another thing that's a little bit more complicated, but I just wanna mention it quickly. We're talking about precision. We're talking about dampening the vibration. We're talking about dual A-axis drives on that five-axis table, right? Just crazy precision. Now with that comes glass scales on all axes of movement. And you might ask like, well, isn't that normal 
You say, no, that's not normal. Machines move over time. They move based on temperature. And a lot of machines run off of encoders hooked directly to the motor, which checks the rotation and exactly where that ball screws at, right? I'm not an expert, but as a machinist, I'm just trying to give you a hint. This machine has glass scales, which actually checks the measurement perfectly. So if the machine actually sits because of temperature and makes adjustments, it is always perfect. You never have that wind up or backlash or any of that kind of stuff. Everything is perfect every single time and it is crazy precise. If you guys want to learn more about it, again, I'm not an expert. Go ahead and look this bad boy up on the Deuce on website and you guys can learn for yourself. As for me, I'm a machinist and we're just going to teach you the trade. We're going to teach you how to make crazy parts. I'll let the experts talk more to that. All right. So another cool thing that I like is how you zero the tools. We're zeroing off a laser, but the laser is cool because the laser stretches across the entire machine. So if you bring the camera over here, you'll see from this point right here to this point right here. See the laser? See it? Boom. So there's no limit on how big the tool is. I literally could just put a huge tool. I don't want to put it through the carousel. I could put a huge tool in there. Boom. And I could just bring it down. There's no limits on that. And because I'm a machinist and you got to get creative sometimes, I love it. Now, earlier I was mentioning also the chip evacuation and the wash down and how fluid and consistent it is. And one of the reasons is these guys right here. See these motors right here? You got dual augers right here. Then the slope comes down and it's nonstop. It's just taking the chips to the back of the machine. Now also on this machine, we have the FANUC control. It's a standard in the industry and they make it so simple. I think a lot of people try to make these crazy computers on the machines and, and take the controls to this crazy level, which makes it more complicated. My attitude is I want to do everything in Mastercam. I want to get everything dialed. And then I just want to duplicate that process in here, hit my offsets, dry run it and go. The more time I spend here, the less time I'm spending making chips. I want to make sure that we get into making chips quickly. If you're making chips, you're making money. So I'm not going to talk too much about the FANUC now, but I'll let you know. We're going to have detailed tutorials on everything to do with all of the controls. So if somebody doesn't understand the control, they're just going to go to Titans of CNC Academy. They're going to look at the machine, look at the controls, and they're going to learn exactly how to do it, tips and tricks and all of it. Boom. Ah, uh, so there you go. DVF 6500, crazy rigid, crazy precise. It's a beautiful machine. And now that it's set up, we're gonna start tooling it up. We're gonna get our fixtures in it. And we're gonna make more videos teaching you the controls and how to make parts from raw stock to finished part, all of it. We're gonna teach you five axis and we're gonna put the tutorials on our academy and our aerospace academy. If you haven't seen our Aerospace Academy, simply go to aerospaceacademy.com. It's a crazy platform. Look at how beautiful it is. We did that for free. We're not asking for money. We're teaching the trade because we love you guys. We love this trade and we're getting serious about education. Boom.